the status quo will go on for a while longer at least war will continue as an institution as an industry men will fight for reasons they don't understand causes they don't believe in oh, no. the successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. That is the end of the game, if you can believe it or not. Uh, don't leave just yet. There's more cutscenes to come, and I know you guys love your cutscenes. Mm -hmm. They're the best part. Uh, especially in the Kojima games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so they're gonna they're gonna do one more cutscene. There's gonna be some credits, and then there's a final cutscene after the credits. So if you guys want to stick around till then, that'd be awesome. Official pet ride for your family, but first our top story. President Hamilton returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated... Unbelievable. After all that. For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden... There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? The older pre uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? Oh. <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets, or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> yeah. huh? No. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Oops. An imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> 
Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kidding. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi, Sunny! Where you have this then? Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. You're the same age as me, but all this spaceship? You're a genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Where did that come from? Oh. 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 Alert. Alert. Resending. This is about a crazy world, nah? <laughs> For me, see that ninja. Me never think I've been this kind of life. Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know. Saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack. The Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know? is a hero. I love Sunny so damn much. She's just like... This is just the perfect character to, to offset all the, the serious violence and bloody tones and yeah, serious violence well you know the serious tones <laughs> and then the bloody violence is what i was trying to say but i slurred my words mm -hmm. all right so here's the cast all right thanks for watching this game goodbye <laughs> phil lamar ladies and gentlemen i love that phil lamar is in these <laughs> games okay, phil lamar is one oh. of my like just one of those actors that's just like kind of in everything i remember watching him on like mad tv and then he's in Metal Gear, he's in Pulp Fiction, he's he's everywhere. Mm -hmm. I love Phil Lamar. Anyway, let's talk about the game and not about Phil Lamar. Yep. Even though we could, <laughs> we could probably talk about Phil Lamar for a while. So, Zach, considering you didn't play a whole lot of this game. Right. For like a good 80% of the walkthrough, it's just me playing mm -hmm. this. But the part that I did play, it made me like games again. So there's that. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Zach hates video games, but this game changed his opinion. No, well, I mean, like, when I'm constantly going through every game that's coming out and constantly studying information about it, it wears me down, and, like, I know Dewey feels the same way. Um, and playing well, this... Me. Yeah, not you. Not no, me, because no. I'm a, I'm a yeah. pro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't mess with me. And playing this game, like, on the hard difficulty, it was just a lot of fun. It controlled great, and it felt good to play, which was awesome. Even though I died repeatedly on that first dogfight, like when we were first learning the parrying system, really forcing yeah. ourselves to get it down. Right. But then, it was when I finally beat it, it gave me that, that joy of getting through something that I struggled through a lot, so it was a lot of fun. And I enjoyed the cutscenes and the stories and the funny bits in the game, like, just watching it. It was it great. Made, it made it a lot more lighthearted, uh, and, and I like that too. Uh, for me, playing the game from the beginning and struggling with the parry system, not understanding it, not having the Right, not getting the timing down, not fully understanding what I didn't even understand do. how to freaking do it, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was the thing. Well, once I figured that out, I just, I enjoyed the game throughout the rest of the game, even on hard mode, maybe except for the, the last, last boss <laughs> fight. But, I mean, you guys have no idea how many times I died during that fight. Um... But it was funny because from part like 15 of the walkthrough all the way up into that last segment of the boss fight when he does the fire moves, mm -hmm. I didn't die once that entire time on hard. And I don't know if this is something about me and my skills as a you know 
gamer, but I, I don't really care what it says. Just the amount of fun this game is, even on the hard difficulty, I feel says something. Like, I also really like that you can go in and just start killing everybody in some of the areas, or you can go stealthy and have that metal group part do it. Um, yeah. Like, that, those options are right. nice. You can, and that's the nice thing. With, with Metal Gear Solid games, it's a giant focus on stealth, obviously. But with Metal Gear Rising, it's a lot more of, here's an option. Do you want to go stealthy? You can. It might not be the greatest stealth game in the world, but if you want to choose to try to not get caught by these enemies, you have that option. You have the option to do sneak attacks and that kind of thing. And it's really satisfying. If you don't want to do that, balls to the wall. Just go in there with your sword ablazing. I also felt like it had uh, had really good pacing to it. Yes. Which is interesting. Like, when you're watching a game through any sort of repetition and of the story feeling like it's just dragging along is amplified because you're just like, come on, we've been chasing after this one guy forever and there's another thing, another stupid thing comes up that delays it. And I felt like it just moved along at a good pace. Right. It, it didn't feel too quick and it didn't feel extended out. Like I made comments about the repetition when it, you were facing the clones of uh, the Monsoon previous boss and fights. What's the name? Yeah, which I just found funny, but it didn't really make it feel like, ugh, we're yeah. delaying the inevitable. Right. It just all felt really natural, which is awesome. I, I have to agree. I mean, some people might not like the fact that I this game can be, I beat this game in like six hours, right? That's what this, this playthrough comes down to. But I didn't feel like it was too short. I mean, it is a short game. It's not an eight to ten hour game like most games are these days. But... It just, it felt right. Now all I'm doing is really reiter reiterating what you said, but I don't know. I, I enjoyed this game from start to finish, all the way from the beginning of fighting a giant Metal Gear Ray, which, by the way, still has my name attached to it, and then just all, you know, after this giant f battle, you are you start from, you know, your regular enemies, and you build up to harder enemies, and then eventually at the end you fight another giant Metal Gear that I've never even heard of before. Did, uh, did you do any of the VR missions? I've done a couple of VR missions on my own. Does it own. simply just seem like practice, or is it like a challenge yeah, mode? Yeah, it's if you go back to our first video and you go to the tutorial mode at the very beginning of the video, yep. it's just more of that. Okay. Because um, I was, just, I, I, I was wondering played. about like replayability and that kind of stuff, because it's just the campaign, right? There's yeah. not a challenge Right, the, no challenge but that's, mode. I think the VR missions are a bit of a challenge mode, because you do okay. are testing yourself, but at the same time you're also, the game is teaching you new moves, mm -hmm. it's teaching you how to react to certain enemies, and it's like timing you, and it's doing a whole bunch of stuff, so if you really want to hone your skills, and then go back and play through this game, which people won't, might want to do, because it, it is a shorter game, right. you're not going to feel like you're dedicating so much time to it, I could totally see going back playing the VR missions, really having a in-depth understanding of the combat system and then just going back into the game and just murdering I everything. Think, I think if you like this type of game, like God of War or DMC, um, right. you'll like this. Absolutely. I, I agree with that Because it plays statement. very well. It's a completely fluid and just amazing game. And it, it's, you know, I, I know I gave Bayonetta crap at one point during this walkthrough, but... Is, this might be you consider going out and buying Bayonetta 2 when that comes out on the Wii U because that's how much I enjoyed this game. It made me really like the developer. Oh, how our opinions have changed over time. It's crazy. When they changed the name and they uh, just it looked like they changed the scope of it, we weren't excited, and now look. Now we've talked through the whole credits. Do you know what time it is now, Zach? Cutscene. Oh, good, good. The Herr Doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear World Marshal's looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> now, the break-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Now, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. 
So, your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? <laughs> He's gonna kill people. In Metal Gear Rising Revenge 2. I've got my own war to fight. With a war, I always gotta keep an option for sequels. You do. You know, Hideo Kojima loves making more of these games, so we gotta see, Zach. I gotta see on normal, and I gotta see on hard. How did you get a C? I don't understand. I got a B. Oh, it's just two the. C's. Is it just the lowest? It takes the lowest. Maybe. Because there's no way you should have gotten a right. C. That that averages does not work out. But of course, the end of a Metal Gear game, you get uh, titles based on what you do in the game, and I got plenty of titles. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to see my C ranking for normal mode because it's a different profile I'm playing it on. But you can see that I beat it on hard. hard. Right, All right, right, I beat right. this game on hard difficulty. I think that's kind of so crap. Take that. So that's the lowest. Uh, Talk! Oh, just say what you're gonna say. This C's. Just going with the lowest, it needs to be average. Bring up his arm, try to stab you. But you just do that, and you're fine. Do not stay down that hole. No, don't stay I, in the uh, hole. I definitely did that, and I got pierced a couple times. Yeah, you don't um, want to. Oh god, he's doing it again, do it. Oh, look at that. I'm good, though. The timing.